Good evening students. Today's topic is organic chemistry nomenclature. See, we know nomenclature is naming of organic compounds. To write nomenclature, we have a simple formula here. First one, it is root word. What is a root word? Root word will indicate number of carbon atoms. Suppose we have taken carbons like this. What will be the root word now? The root word is myth, it, prop, but, paint, hex, heft, auth, known, deck, unideck and dodeck. I have given you the root word for 1 to 12 carbon atoms. Myth, eighth, prop, but, pent, hex, heft, oct, known, deck, unideck and dodeck. So always we have to remember the root word is to be written first. Next, anything which is written after root word is called primary suffix. What does primary suffix indicate? It indicates the type of bonding between carbon atoms. Let us take C single bond C, C double bond C and C triple bond C. These are the three types of bonding between carbon and this suffix is ANE. For double bond the suffix is ENE. For triple bond suffix is YNE. So like this we can write a primary suffix. Next. If you come to the left side anything which is written before the root word is called primary prefix. What is there in primary prefix? All the cyclic compounds, all the cyclic compounds or ring compounds are included in primary prefix. So what is the word you are using? You are using cyclo. Example, you take three membered, four membered, five membered rings. So like this. I'll explain again later. Now we have understood that first always root word should be written, next suffix should be written, next primary prefix should be written. Now what are the two remaining things we have? One is secondary suffix, another one is secondary prefix. Always remember the functional group with high priority. The functional group with high priority is written at secondary suffix. But the functional group with the low priority with the low priority is written as secondary prefix. Hope you have understood this. The formula is very simple. Root word, primary suffix, primary prefix, secondary suffix and secondary prefix. So now how to know? Suppose you have uh, two functional groups. One is having low priority, another one is having high priority. So how to identify this? For this, we have functional group priority order. So let us write that. So I'll teach you how to write the functional group priority. First, write SO3H. Next, four carbonyl groups you write. So I have written first SO3H, then four carbonyl groups. So this OH, OR, X, NH2. Next, write Sino. Reverse this and write isocyano. Hope you are following. First SO3H, then 4 CO groups, OH, OR, X, NH2, write cyano. Inverse that and write NC. Next, 
only had CH2. So what you will do is take the first and last alphabets. You will get ketone. Next, take the last two alphabets. You will get alcohol. Next, SH, NH2, SH, NH2. And the last one, ox, NO2, R. Hope you have understood. So the 16 functional groups can be written in the priority order where this is the high priority and this is the low priority. This is the order, decreasing order. Now, we know how to write. So first, SO3H, 4 CO groups, OH, OR, XNH2, Sino, inverts, write aldehyde, take the first and last alphabet, now last two alphabets, then SH, NH2, these two we can remember. Last, OX, NO2, R, you remember OX, NO2, R. After writing the functional group, we should know what is the prefix and what is the suffix for this functional group. Now, first one. The prefix is sulfo. For this, see we know this is carbonyl groups. Now this is carboxy. Next. So, alkoxy carbonyl. This is alkyl group, this is oxygen, this is carbonyl. So, we have written alkoxy carbonyl. Next, X is halo. CO is carbonyl. Next, this one is known as, we all know that, carbamoyl. Next, cyano, iso, cyano. Hope you are following this. Carboxy, alkoxy carbonyl, halo carbonyl, carbamoyl, cyano, iso, cyano. When you reverse it, it is called iso. Next, CHO, aldo, or you can also write formyl. Next, keto group. We can write keto. Or you can also write oxo. Next OH group hydroxy. SH group is called as arcapto. And this amino group. So we have written the prefix first. Next, the same functional group, what will be the suffix? SO3H. The suffix used is sulfonic acid, COOH we know, oic acid, ester, O8. So COX is nothing but oil halide. Next, amide. So I know the suffix will be nitrile. This is carbyl amine. Next, already had you know the last two letters. That is AL. Next, this is ketone, so ONE. And this is ON. Alcohol, OL. Already had AL, ketone, ONE. Then OH will be OL. Mercapto, SH group is known as thio. Next, this is amine. So, hope you have understood this. So, this is the functional groups, prefix used and suffix used. Now, coming to this. Because the last functional groups are less prior, we don't have any suffix to this. So what will be the only prefix? You know, ether. Alkoxy. X. Halo. NO2 is nitro. R group is alkyl. 
So with this we have written the prefix and suffix for all the functional group. Now let us take some examples. I'll erase this. Where you are having two functional groups and how you will be writing the name of organic compounds. Now let us take one functional group and OH in the second function group. So whenever you are writing the nomenclature we have to select the parent chain. Okay, what is the parent chain? The carbon with the longest chain here. Okay, so how many carbons are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the parent chain here contains 5 carbons. You can also call it as longest carbon chain. Next, you need to give numbering. Numbering should be either from left to right or from right right to left but what is the rule here always we know here whenever you are taking the functional group with high priority always gets least number very important rule so whenever you are taking the functional group here the one which is having high priority will be given the least number now let us see what are the two functional groups Carboxylic acid and alcohol. Where are these present? Carboxylic acid and alcohol is present here. We know very well. Carboxylic acid is having high priority compared to alcohol. Therefore, this will get the least number. And again, very important thing. We always use a suffix. And for this, we have to use because you know the rule always says what is the rule root word primary suffix secondary suffix here there is no ring compound so we need not write primary prefix secondary prefix so this is the functional group with high priority and this is functional group with low priority now we know that alcohol is having low priority so definitely we have to use prefix so prefix should be used what is the prefix hydroxy now secondary suffix the one with high priority is carboxylic acid so what is the suffix oic acid hope you have understood this so first point we have taken the longest chain. Second one, COOH is the one with high priority and will get least number. And we have to use secondary suffix. Fine. So this one, one, two, three, four, five. This will be the correct method of numbering. Next. When you start writing the name, root word what is the root word number of carbons how many are there five so the root word is spent next type of bonding between carbons you are having single bond therefore we will use a and e hope you have understood this after this remove e terminal e and write it as oic acid why we wrote oic acid? Because we have to write suffix. Next, to the left, you need to take secondary prefix. That is hydroxy. What is the number? Three. So three dash. Always remember the number and alphabet should be separated by hyphen. Number and number should be separated by comma. Like in later stage we, we, we will use this 3 comma 3 like that so now we have written the name what is that 3 hydroxy pentanoic acid so i think you have understood this shall we take one more example Okay. 
So we took two functional groups. So one is ketone, second one is halo, that is nothing but chlor. Select the longest chain. The longest chain is this. Now how to give numbering, either from this direction or this direction. Now, when we see that between ketone and halogen, ketone is having high priority. Therefore, we start numbering from this direction. Fine. Suppose you start from this direction, ketone will get 4, so which is high number, so we don't use that. Hope you are able to understand. Because ketone is high priority and chlorine is low priority, we have given numbering in this direction. Next, apply the formula, root word, primary suffix, secondary suffix. Here no cyclic chain, so primary prefix will not be there. Now let us see. So halogen, this prefix is chloro and ketone suffix is one. So that we already know. Now let us write the nomenclature. First root word. How many carbons are there? Six carbons. Therefore root word is hex. Between the carbons you are having single bonds. Therefore, primary suffix is ANE. Next, when you are writing suffix, we have ONE ketone at third position. Remove the E and write it as 3 dash ONE. Coming to the prefix chloro. What is the position? Fifth position, phi dash chloro. Number alphabet separated by hyphen alphabet number hyphen and number and alphabet also hyphen so with this we have written the name so using this method we can give the names for the organic compounds with the two functional groups hope you have understood this thank you so much